Well, the chant last night was four more years, Dave, for a lot of people. We're in the midst of the political season, so we played with that on, on the show today, and we did a four-year plan, sort of is how we looked at it. And, and let's take it from the Pete Carroll point of view, rather than dancing around all the, all the places. Uh, what, what would constitute success in your mind for Pete Carroll and the Seahawks over the next four years? Well, as far as people's expectations we're yeah. talking about, mm -hmm. right? You know, for me, my expectations aren't <laughs> quite as high, just because I guess I feel like, I, I don't want to put this the wrong way, but to say that I know too much. You but know? you did but play I mean, the game and you know well, how tough it is. Yeah, and so I, I just know how hard it is to do and that there's 15 other teams in your conference that are trying to get there. So, But I like, uh, to me, uh, a, a real sign of success and the thing I've liked this year and, and, the, and the, last, uh, the last season was that they're competitive. They're staying in games. There's a chance that they're going to go to the playoffs. And I think, man, if you can be competitive and stay in that hunt and get a chance to get in the playoffs, anybody can get hot. Look at the Arizona Cardinals in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, really, the, the 2010 Packers went on that run. The Giants went on a similar run. Nobody mm -hmm. thought they were going to go into Green Bay. So I just feel like it's it's kind of like the, the NCAA tournament. You just want a chance to get in there, man, and see what happens. I agree with you. I, mean, I think it's too tough to say you got to make and win the Super Bowl just because right. too many things can happen in there. And that, that was a great way of putting it, like kind of like the NCAA tournament. So what you can do is get there. I mean, all you can do is put yourself in a position to get there. And I was amazed that in looking back, the longest playoff streak in the NFL is, is like eight or nine games by the Dallas Cowboys. The Seahawks actually, I think under Mike Holmgren, had a five-year a five -year streak of making the playoffs. Yeah. It's tough to make the playoffs. I mean, it just is. So for me, if this team, and I think it's starting this year, is consistently a, a winning team and a playoff team, I mean, that's what you're asking for. Obviously, you want the Super Bowl. We're, we're desperate for titles in this town. We're, we're non-title town USA. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to me, I think it'd be a big step forward back to where it was in, in the middle of the last decade, if you're just winning every year, dominating the division and winning every year. Well, I think the other thing that makes it special around here is that um, they're finding rare talent. I think that's a very yeah. interesting sort of uh, sub-story to this whole thing, Is because everybody likes an underdog. you know. And so when you're getting guys in the third and fifth round, or you're getting guys like Doug Baldwin, who's a free agent, and you're turning them into something, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look, you go to Canada and get uh, um, Brandon Browner, who really couldn't make it in the NFL. Uh, the, he's tried, what, two or three times? Right. right? And uh, you turn him into a really good all-pro corner. That's a cool story. I think people can get behind that. So I really like the brand of football and the things that they're doing. I think it makes it exciting, and it's a it's easy to get behind this team. I would say unlike politics, where some are excited about four more years, others are not, pretty much Seahawks fans are excited about yeah. four more years of Pete Carroll. I think so, too.